see this year on the offense? Uh, so far, I kept going good, day two. So I think we just uh, we just all happy to be out there right now. Um, shoot, as far as this season goes, you know, I feel like I go out there, make some plays. You know, we're, we're gonna see. You know, as we get closer, you know, preparing for for the other team. You know what? You know specifically, I may be doing. Uh, things like that. But right now, we just, you know, focus on going out there competing and getting better. How's the attitude of the team overall? Is it pretty much similar to last year? Are you guys maybe hungrier? Because I know you guys kind of fell short of your goals last year. Like, what's the, kind of the attitude of the team compared to last year? Yeah, we definitely hungrier. You know, just sitting over the offseason with that, you know, the team up north lost. You know, Rose Bowl is nice, but, you know, we obviously wanted to win. We wanted a ring. We wanted a pair of gold pants. We wanted the Big Ten Championship. We wanted all that. So, you know, we we did a good job uh, this offseason in recognizing what we did well, but also, you know, we did some did good things, you know, in terms of putting our head down, you know, not looking up too much, making sure we just we went through some hard shit this summer. And I think that made us a better team as well. So we can't wait for the season. On special teams, like how much do you expect to contribute as a return mix? I know you can't do that, kick return, punt return, are you in the mix there as well? Yeah, I mean I can do it. You know, if they if they uh they put me back there, uh, definitely go make a play, sure. You feel like you grew some things too that you belong more and more on the field? Um that's no, what a lot of us are talking about, but I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, no, I don't think I proved anything. You know, um, I came in this, this spring, you know, hungry. Uh, I came out this in this fall camp hungry as well. You know, I ain't, I ain't played no real football, you know, in terms of meaningful minutes in the game or anything. So that's still on the front of my mind, you know, being able to impact the game for my team. But I was asking Coach, uh, Coach Day about it you know, a couple weeks ago. Do they have to, like, sort of keep you in mind when they're scheming now about things they can throw at teams? You know what I mean? Do you know? Like, uh, and he said, yeah, you know, but uh, you feel like you have kind of like proven you, you, you kind of need to be in the attack some form or fashion. Right, yeah, I think I've proven that, you know, I'm, I'm a weapon to use, and um, I can, you know, I can hurt people, I can do different things, I can score points. So, I think, yeah, I definitely feel better, I, I believe. What, what's the biggest feedback you've been having out there in yeah, um, you know, my, my spring was well. Um, they let me know that my spring was well, but then, you know, took my horn too much to the point where my head got too big. Um, you know, still the message was, you know, put your head down, keep working. And, uh, you know, that's all I've been doing this fall, this summer, just keep my head down working. No, they were, they were keeping it from getting too big. You know? Yeah. So it did. So you yeah, no. Nah, yeah, Coach Mick did a good job of that. So you didn't get, you didn't get a new helmet. Nah, nah, I ain't gonna, <laughs> I ain't gonna do that. If, if you got thrown in, game one, how confident are you? Oh, as confident as I would be in practice. You know, that's what, that's why we do this. That's why we go to hard and practice, prepare, um, and meet like this. So when we get to the game, September third, you put me in there. It feels like practice. I, I got a thousand percent confidence. For some, for some players that come here and it happens immediately. Some players have to kind of pay their dues a little bit. What? You're, you're, you paid your dues a little bit, right? I mean, is that what you feel? Yeah, yeah. I feel like I paid my dues. Does that make you more dues. hungry? I mean, go ahead. Yeah. You know, I still, I'm still, I feel like I'm still paying my dues, you know, in a way. Um, I had a good spring, but, you know, it's still still kind of young around here, you know, about to go to my actual freshman season. So, um, yeah, I, I, I'm still doing that. Still some older guys be trying me sometimes, but it's good. It's all competition. I love the guys. When, when does the spark go off in your head when you got the ball in your hand? Quick flip out of the backfield, is it between the tackles? I mean, you know, we see you, you know, basically being an edge, <laughs> a guy that can get to the edge quick and go and stuff. And what just what really likes your thoughts? Grass, seeing like green grass anywhere I see or it on the field. Grass, yeah. yeah, any grass, fake grass, real grass. If I see it, if I see it's open, I'm gonna run there and yeah. turn it on. Can I ask you a weird one? Who are your uh, roommates this year? Which will be living with? Um, so we moved. So initially it was our, uh, our roommate was me, Denzel, Trey, and uh, Jensen, Jensen Dunn. So we uh, we all moved, whatever. Me and I'm just staying with Jensen right now. It's my guy. Me and Jensen like that. So. How important is that? Like these are, this is where you go back to relax, right, and get away. Like you're picking a roommate, how, how do you figure out who you want to live with and what are you looking for? Um, you know, I'm just looking for, you know, someone real, someone, you know, all, all the guys here are real, you know, just who you have, you know, a tight bond with, you know, and I feel like it could have been any any of us could have lived together again, but um, I feel like it was more so just about, you know, growing up, you know, we getting older, we got to turn 21, um, but I stay with JD because, you know, me and JD even were close off rip, Jansen Dunn, 
close off rip, you know, just always been my friend. You know, as a freshman, you go through a lot of things, you know, being in the same room with those guys, going back there. Maybe you didn't have the best day out fall camp or whatever it was the freshman year. You know, you go through those things, you work through things with those guys, so you develop a special relationship. Why, why, are you, why do you think you and Jansen hit it off like that? Why are you guys so tight? Um, I don't know. That's a good question. Probably I was... I was doing him in Madden for the longest, nice. so we didn't like each other at first because okay. we just kept losing. Of and then we got tight, so. Okay, and one more weird one. Like, how much do you think about trying to eat the right foods when you're, you know, back in your apartment or whatever, when you're not at the Woody? And do you have like a guilty pleasure of like, man, I, I just got to get something, some of this because I'm in the mood for it? Yeah, I do. Uh, um, you know, I still try and keep my, I still keep my diet, you know, intact. Yeah. Eating upstairs with Kayla, things like that. Um, but in terms of like guilty eating, I probably say like, so my girlfriend was here. I went to insomnia cookies probably like <laughs> five out of six days, <laughs> just cause cool. I was, just cause I was you know bored or whatever. We had a little break, but other than that, uh, that's the that's the 